Most people walk around with this belief system that because it's on the shelf, it's somehow safe for you. They're the products in your supermarket, the products served to you at restaurants, the products you can buy online are safe for you. That could not be further from the truth. I challenge you, go look at a label. Any product in your home, shampoo, hair conditioner, uh, skin care product, turn that label over and I want you to look for three letters. P-E-G, they're usually capital letters. Propylene glycol, the P and the G. E is for ethoxylated, I know that's a big word, but it means a chemical process that has converted that product, that ingredient, and it contains dioxin. Dioxin is known cancer causing. It's a hormone disruptor. I bet you it doesn't have just one peg in that product. I bet you there are three or four. Look at the multiple cocktail dose of chemicals that you've given your skin when you use just that one product. Physicians are basically disease-oriented and drug-oriented. After all, this is how we are trained in medical school. We spend all of our time learning how to diagnose and treat disease. Even what we call preventive medicine does not really prevent disease, but rather aids in the early detection of it. If you, or if you notice, oh, I'm having headaches all the time, or my digestion isn't so good, or I'm tired all the time, that is your body giving you a warning. It's like your oil light coming on in your car. Would you just go to the mechanic and cut the wire so you don't see the warning anymore? No, but that's what we do as a society. So by making good choices now, you can have remarkable longevity later. The World Health Organization said this. You know what they said? They said for the first time in human history, millions of parents might actually outlive their children. So I had gotten a hold of the ingredients of the products I'd been selling. Didn't understand any of them. Didn't look like peaches and, and uh, any of that to me. There wasn't, I couldn't find a cucumber in there. And it was like the chemist was like, oh brother, just go sell the stuff. So as I went out and found material safety data sheets on this literature, it said, on some things, wear protective clothing for the chemist, wear eye goggles, wear rubber gloves, do not let it touch the skin. And I'm like, don't let it touch the skin. This is the very products that we're putting on our skin. If I'm telling somebody to put it under their arm or on their face, and they're telling everybody to wear rubber gloves, what's wrong with this picture? And so now as a cosmetic manufacturer, I can control every stage of that product. I can buy a product that I know how it's extracted, I can buy a product that I know how it's preserved, and I can know these products are gonna be good for them, that there's not gonna be any harm caused. You know, I was 65 pounds heavier for most of my life, right? And it affected not only my self-esteem, but it affected, it affected my whole life. It affected my, my belief and my ability to succeed. If I was a skinny, pretty girl all my life, who would I to be talking about fat loss or what it's like to be really heavy and be teased and to have not good skin and be self-conscious and having an eating disorder for 11 years. I've been there. You know, it's like I've been in the trenches and I've come out. And when people get into RX, it's easy. They don't have to know what I know. They just have to experience it themselves and then you can't stop but to talk about it. It's, it's, it's that simple. After researching the medical literature over the past 17 years, I have learned about the health benefits of taking high quality nutritional supplements. When I understood that oxidative stress was the root cause of over a hundred chronic degenerative diseases, I realized that our bodies give us the best chance of avoiding and preventing these diseases far better than any drug I could prescribe. I challenge you to change this fundamental belief system that most people are walking around with. Most people walk around with this belief system that because it's on the shelf, it's somehow safe for you. You know, natural is a funny word. Everybody believes that natural is what's good for you. Well, the problem with natural is there is no legal definition for the word, which means anybody can put anything in a package and call it natural. Lemonade is made out of artificial flavors and furniture polish is made in real lemons. So organic does not mean that a product is free of chemicals. It just means it was grown on organic ground. So what I'm committed to is toxic free. Just changing what goes on the end of your fork, changing what you put in your mouth every day, changing how you think, changes everything about your life.